Hello and welcome to another one of my films. This one will be different. Why? I'm filming in the rain. I don't normally do that, but um, basically I'm on a week's break and I haven't got much choice. But anyway, in the middle there is Ely Cathedral. And also, I just want to point out, I'm at a place called Barton Road. Uh, long stay car park it's free but it's where they encourage you to uh, come so you can literally leave your car pretty much all day so um let me show you around the city of ely wow didn't know this um this is the home of Oliver Cromwell and his family and uh, it's also where the tourist information centre is. Brilliant. The Bishop's House um, is this beautiful bit of architecture here and uh, all down the street are things related to the Abbey Stroke Monastery Cathedral. Right, okay, they shut this off to traffic on a Saturday, so that's good to hear. The main high street. I just wondered what this was. Look what it's wrapped in. This was the gatehouse to the original monastery. Just literally straight on from the tower there. I'm just going down to the riverside. Just down to the riverside now. There is a lot of trade uh, between here and Kings Lynn. Um, so let's go and see the Great River Ooze. Just coming through Jubilee Gardens. It's lovely down here and it's not even a nice day. <laughs> but uh, let's head back to the cathedral, the main event. Super place. Let's keep going. Okay, so the town of Ely goes back even to the Bronze and Iron Age. There's evidence of Roman fortresses as well here. But right, this is specifically what I've come to see today. Ely Cathedral. Now it was originally an abbey in 673 and then in 870 unfortunately the Danes destroyed it but the cathedral was actually started by the first Norman bishop called Simeon and uh, again around the time of William the Conqueror but then what happened was in 1322 the main and we'll show you around the other side the main sort of tower fell down and this caused huge upset and basically it was rebuilt but rebuilt in a very innovative way using wood covered in lead so hopefully we'll get inside to have a look at that but um i'm really looking forward to this i have never ever been in it before so uh let's go this is absolutely ginormous right there is the very famous Lantern Tower. It's fair to say that um, Ely was actually an island until the 17th century. Um, it was built on an island that was about 85 feet above the rest of the fens. So you can see this cathedral from a very, very long way away. Also though, what that meant was it was quite a centre for commerce and it is described in the Doomsday Book has been somewhat well off hence <laughs> the magnificent cathedral. Well, let's go in and have a look. Right, 
This is some doorway. And that is some door. There is a door in that. <laughs> right, they're doing a lot of restoration there, so you're gonna have to forgive the sounds of working, but it is a working cathedral. I've also just booked in on an octagon tour. Basically, we're going in the roof. Ely once was the biggest diocese actually in England. That is magnificent. Similar to Peterborough, isn't it? Wow. Feels a lot more different to um, Peterborough. Seems sort of <laughs> a lot more dynamic. It's sort of like um, there's a real sense of power here still. And here we are, the world famous lantern. Again, the woodwork. I hope this picks up. It is quite a uh, dark day. Every single organ pipe has an image on it. Wow. Just walked in through there into the Lady Chapel. Wow. Look at the light. They've got some really well appointed loos. Right, so they are quite thorough with this. So 170 stone steps, some narrow and closed staircases. And obviously, if you've got a bit of vertigo, just be careful. So the original wood. You can see the original wood still looks like trees. This was all that stood here for 400 years. And there was no metal work. Today you can see metal work, studs and plates, um, but there was only wooden bell pegs and carpentry. Before the angel panels were put here in the 1870s, there were just openings. Where you're standing was never ever meant to be seen by the public. This was purely um, for the months to come, just a few times throughout the year. Yeah, just to point out, there's basically small planks of wood there that are the roofs, so they're not actually weight bearing. You can see here one of 32. These ones are singing insects. The others are their musical instruments. So um, musical instruments are because the man who painted them, Thomas Gamby of Parry, he based the design on Psalm 150. That's where you sing, dance, and praise Christ. Just looking opposite here. I'm really trying to be calm here, but don't get me wrong, it's incredible.
Wow, check that out right at the top there. I didn't notice that. I've just asked and this sculpture is representing the old tower falling down and celebrating the fact now it is 700 years since they got the new one. So uh, what an amazing piece of architecture. Right, it was a bit hard to explain when I was up there because frankly I was a bit um, nervous but in effect the angel doors, you know, the angel gates that you see up there, each one would have a monk singing across the octagonal and then the choir would be down here in the middle so it would have created this most ethereal effect and they also at Remembrance Day shower poppies down from up there that must be incredibly moving but it is it's a uh, it's an absolutely incredible place So what our guide was just telling us was that basically in the mid 1800s this actually was pretty much refurbished over 50 years um, if not it really would have fallen you can just see the quality of the work so this was the shrine of saint ethel Drader. so she was the person who started actually the Christian community here and it was on this spot where her shrine originally was so this is why people came in pilgrimage to Ely there are just some stunning parts We found out, by the way, whilst we were on the roof, but King Henry VIII was actually encouraged to spare Ely, and hence why so much of it remains. Now, I've come on the day when they're actually doing a service this afternoon, uh, which can happen quite a lot, but they did tell us in advance, but there is just so much history everywhere. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here again. Well, thank you very much for coming with me to Ely Cathedral. I think it was all about that amazing tour, wasn't it? But what an incredible place if you get the chance.